references and here here we have unity charts and then yeah it's a channel the channel top it is hit the channel top and it just even hit the 26,000 big rounding number psychological rounding number is also taken out in fact it went further you no know, another 10 points from there and then after that it, it faced huge resistance and then it just formed an inward hammer it is almost an inside bar as well if you look at literally the body so it's kind of selling pressure that is uh, putting some pause to the big rallies what you see but meanwhile it made new all-time highs so before the expiry itself on the nifty and bank nifty is a, it's an absolute um, inside bar that and both of them will look it closed flattish with bank nifty losing 0.25 percent so nifty managed to close green but just negligibly one point plus so it was a very flattish day uh, but it, the real picture emerges when you look at um, what happened in the shorter time from 15 minutes exactly what happened market uh, hit resistance first second third fourth and then fall down and then again one two three four five six six times that it broke out of 26,000 and then you know you have resistance played it through and then it pushed it further down and then you no know, so it was a range bound day with huge resistance what we can summarize exactly same thing happened in bank if you also if you see you clearly see that there is uh, start is loading uh, you see that there is resistance it is hit multiple times at the beginning of the day then it fell you know, it raised a little bit and then again attempted four five six seven times it attempted and then in one of those attempts it broke out of the resistance zone to reach to 54 200 plus levels and but uh, overall if you look at this flattish close and range bound with huge resistance playing out right the day before the expiry of the bank that's exactly what played out Bank Nifty, uh, if you see, you can see that there is a rounding or a cup pattern breakout that is in the on the way, and the target for that can be three thousand points upside if it works out. And HDFC Bank, if it really moves and breaks out, then that's nothing. Also, you can see that the Fibonacci levels are this remains the same as uh, we had discussed uh, previously. Also, it's a sixty-one percent Fibonacci retracement level that's appearing at fifty-four two hundred levels. That's exactly what it faced resistance and fell down, right? Uh, in fact, it did not make a new all-time high. We just went very close to that. Right. So it's it, 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 right. So anything beyond the 60, 61 percent Fibonacci extension would is normally big breakouts. No, big big breakouts. So that has uh, not happened today. Um, you know, for the bank of Nifty. Nifty, in the case the big uh, the sixty one percent is far away to 26300 that level so it does not happen right now it's fine it has broken out of the 50 fibonacci extension levels from the previous week lows and then uh it has hit the top of the channel and it has taken out the 26000 big rounding number psychological balance now the next stop is 26101 and after that 26 you know uh 286300 levels. so 26100 26300 is going to be bigger resistances because it's uh uh before the 26000 has to be clearly you no, know, we concurred with the print close above that. You no, know, only that happens in most of the 28103 and likewise. And you have the monthly expiry is going to be very volatile. That's coming day after tomorrow. In tomorrow, the bank nifty. So nifty. Uh, so flat is close with selling pressure. So levels look over that. And downside, the levels remain the same as the coin. This is the, this is the zone where the breakout happened and set 25, uh, five, four fifty that levels and then. 25,000 yeah, bit support and then no downside 24 800 nearby zones will have supports as well right so that's 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 what uh, the charts are saying that's the levels. levels upside from the bank we already seen downside 53 350 would have some support because there is a cup pattern neckline and from there the breakout happened and then moving average 20 to 3 to 70 is the zone where the next support can be seen if that moves down further right so that's that's those are the levels for the nifty in the bank tomorrow. Let's try to see if the, the FI data has come in. FIS has been continuously buying for the last several several days. In fact, multiple three weeks or something they had been buying consistently, and that's the good news. And that's what market is uh, happening. They they have been steady steadily lowing that after the Fed rate cuts uh, that came. Let's, let's see the opportunities. Bank nifty expand is there tomorrow. But open industry is showing that the PCR is bullish at about one, and then. Uh, the levels that it is showing is at 53,000 where the highest put writing is at 56,000 where the highest uh, core writing resistance is there. But right now it is stuck at the 54,000 where some more resistance is left to be taken out. So, right, so you can play in this range of 53 to 56, right? So, whether it has 55 or 50, 
five five hundred we had to play that is up to you risk that's uh, that's the risk that you take or you have to understand from the levels probabilities of support resistances likewise that, that's for the highest support and resistance seen on the bag of day and on the nifty if you can see that the pcr is bullish again have a one one point two five and then in levels of twenty five thousand and twenty seven thousand that's where the maximum put over right there's two more days for that day after tomorrow is the monthly expiry of september but right now it is stuck near the twenty six thousand where some more resistance is left on the upper interest but 26500 would be level that could be looked forward uh, as a range and 25000 on the downside but 25500 also has got very good support so that's the level from the oi and that's that's about it right so that's that's about it otherwise market uh, sectorally it's a it is, it is more or less a green day except for the uh, fmc which has got badly hit fine for the the fmc index the reality also is flat, you know, more or less flattish but otherwise uh, the IT metal auto pharma and they all have managed to close green and uh, and the mid cap uh, small mid cap is close green with the flattish close and that small pack, pack is you know, small small cap uh, index is not doing good it's showing some kind of resistance at the top that's that's about the index that is back